Well, after the year that we had, I think it's safe to say we're all ready for a good old vacation. But what do we do to prepare and where the heck are we going? Jocelyn and our experts have us covered. Grab your suitcases and get ready to leave your worries behind. Folks are looking to make their summer vacations one to remember. It's the summer of revenge travel. And the whole concept is that, you know, the pandemic took away our vacation days. We had to cancel trips. So now that we can travel, we're looking to go all out. Travel writer Jennifer Weatherhead fills us in on how many are making the best of their summer and how you can too. First up, Lux or go home. So right now people are booking those really long, luxurious, expensive vacations. So we're seeing three to four week long safaris in South Africa and Kenya, trips to Morocco, Bora Bora. But if you're planning on taking that bucket list trip overseas, make sure you check your passport. A lot of people have let their passport lapse and they need to renew it. And a lot of people don't actually know that countries expect that you need to have at least six months valid in your passports. There is currently an influx of passport applications. So you want to make sure you get this done if you're planning any of those trips. Next up, longer stays. Kind of like we've saved up some of our vacation time and we're looking to book a longer vacation. Jennifer says short weekend getaways are a thing of the past. The vacation rental site Verbo found that 75% of Americans are more likely to book a trip that's seven to 10 days. So this is something that people are looking to do with a uh, all-inclusive resort. It's just a great way to do it without having any of that stress. You kind of just show up, you relax. Extended stays are another great option. A lot of hotels are offering this now where you can stay for a month or longer. And if you can work remotely while you're there, why not? Our final revenge travel trend, trains over planes. I personally love train travel even before the pandemic. It's really actually quite a relaxing way to travel. Some people are still a little weary of getting on a plane and trains can offer more privacy and space. So one way you can add a little bit of extra safety is to book a private room. Jennifer's biggest tip. You want to book now because you want to make sure that you can get the train time that you want and you can be able to find a better deal if you book in advance. Three ways to enjoy the summer of revenge travel.